So if R thinks that A plus 1 all squares equals A squared plus 1 for all values of A. Show that Umar is wrong. Now, to prove that something's wrong, you just have to take an example. So let's take um, A equals 2, for example. So if A equals 2, then 2 plus 1 squared will not equal 2 squared plus 1. I'll show you why. What well, 2 plus 1 squared is 3 squared, and 3 squared is not equal to 4 plus 1. So that's, um, uh, you know, it said for all values, well, we've shown that it doesn't work for 2, so the statement for all values is wrong. The second part, we've got to show uh, the relationship between 2a, 2b, and 2c. So what we can deduce using Pythagoras' rule um, in the first triangle is that c squared will equal a squared plus b squared. In the second triangle we will have um, c plus 1 squared equals a plus 1 squared plus b plus 1 squared. Now let's get that in there. So running out a bit of room but we'll see what we can do. So. Um, on the left hand side then. So expanding the right hand side we're going to have um, c squared plus 2c plus 1 is going to equal a squared plus 2a plus 1 plus b squared plus 2b plus 1 now as we know that c squared equals a squared plus b squared, we can cancel c squared. I'll bring that back in. And why does the iPad do that? So we can cancel off our c squared with a squared plus b squared, as we know um, from this part here, that they are the same, so they can be cancelled off. And we've got a 1 here that can be cancelled off with one of the ones here, and that leaves us the result we want. We've got 2c equals 2a plus 2b plus 1. So that shows that the result holds. So I've got to explain why a, b, and c cannot all be integers. Well, let's suppose that a and b are integers, so a and b integers. And a simple bit of algebra here will show me that two lots of a plus b plus 1 equals 2c. So if I divide everything through by 2, I get a plus b plus a half equals c. So um, if a and b are integers, then a plus b would be an integer, and c would be an integer plus a half. So um, really, I, this kind of explains it. So a plus b um, yeah, plus a half, and I'm really repeating myself, um, equals c. So um, c will be um, an integer plus 0.5. So, so um, it can't be an integer. An integer must be a whole number. So we can leave it at that, and that explains the answer.